Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I got an exciting one for you. We'll be doing a PC build for my friend Matt P over here. So if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Comment down below if this helped you at all. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Again, Matt G here, Matt P, reporting from Matt P's basement. Yes. Um, so Matt P, explain to us uh, what you got here, what, what we're going through. So I, I'm the one that picked out all of the products here. Um, so uh, he didn't really have any um, insight on that. But um, I started with the case. I had to start with the case, which is the um, H510i um, from NX, NZXT. Um, and the reason why I went with this case was just because one, um, I couldn't get the um, H510. Okay. Uh, just the H510 and everybody recommended it. it was cheaper, it was good, and that's what I wanted to go with because it's not something that I wanted to make an expensive build. Um, but this one actually has RGB lighting in it, so I was like, ah, you know what, I'll, I'll pay a little bit extra money for RGB lighting and all that stuff. And it has the glass panel, so it looks really nice. Um, awesome. Next, I have the motherboard here, the MSI Motherboard Gaming Plus Max Motherboard uh, for, was it 470? Yeah, X470. And um, this actually was a substitute as well. I wanted to go with more of a MSI Wi-Fi motherboard, but uh, that didn't really work out for me because of pricing and um, availability, especially during like quarantine and all that stuff. Um, I did go with an um, FX, X, uh, that's, I said that wrong. I'll go with the XFX uh, graphics card, um, RX 580, um, eight gigabytes. So I thought that this was more of a middle of the road uh, graphics card, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I did go with a different um, power supply here. So it's not the typical power supply, but I hear that this is a good one, 600 watts. Uh, thermal take power supply. Um, I do have the Wi-Fi adapter. I keep dropping everything, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, I do have the Wi-Fi adapter here just to set that up because my uh, motherboard does not have Wi-Fi included in it as well. So I, that's just gonna be tough to deal with. So um, next, don't worry about that. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, I do have the Vengeance, uh, Corsair Vengeance um, RAM. Uh, 32 gigs, two sticks of 16 gigs. Um, so that should be good. Um, I did want to go with RGB lighting in here as well, but- Just the, RGB on everything. Yeah, yeah. RGB well, that's, everywhere. that's the point. If you, have, if you have a panel, you really want to show as many lights, as many things as possible, just to make it look a little bit better. I'm not doing any water cooling. That's, that's a good thing, especially for my first build. Um, and then the SSD, I went with a Samsung um, Evo Plus 970. Um, uh, only 500 gigs. I wanted to go with a terabyte, but for some reason I just went with 500 gigs. Save a little bit of money, even though I ended up spending more money on the case and uh, other stuff. I did um, kind of level up here with the processor. I went with the Ryzen 7 um, 3700X, um, eight core, 16 threads. So this should be really good as being the heart of the computer. So. Um, that's pretty much everything. Oh, and I did have um, RGB lighting that I kind of I pre-installed into there, but I didn't, you know, hook up all the RGBs. I kind of need help with that. So, yep. um, so yeah. So before we begin, begin guys, um, all the links to these products will be in the description below. His channel will also be in the description below. He does a lot of uh, credit card reviews, financial um, advice. Um, a lot of stimulus, lot of stimulus check videos stimulus right check, now, yep. right now. But um, there's a lot of other things that I talk about as well. But um, I need this for 4K editing. A lot of my videos are in 4K, so putting this computer together will be a help. Um, so much of a help because of my laptop keeps breaking down. So this will be really good um, for everything. Hey, you guys, uh, future Matt and Matt here. Um, we just wanted to go through the prices because we didn't go through that in, in the beginning of the video. So I know I talked about all of the different products, so the processor, the graphics card, all of those different things. So I wanted to run through the prices real quick and um, these prices will change. It's not gonna be something that's, that's standard. Um, I know with the motherboard it might be overpriced, but um, after quarantine, it won't be overpriced. I would imagine it's gonna be closer to you know, what the normal price is. So 
let's start with the processor. So the processor that I that I picked out um, ended up being two hundred and forty seven dollars, um, which was a Ryzen uh, seven thirty seven hundred um, processor, eight cores, sixteen threads. I also got a graphics card, which was one hundred and sixty nine dollars. I'll make sure I put pictures up on the screen of those. Um, I also got the SSD, the Samsung SSD um, uh, for one hundred and nineteen dollars. The RAM was one hundred and forty seven dollars. The power supply um, was fifty two dollars. Uh, the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi card, if you need it, um, is twenty dollars. The case was ninety nine dollars and the motherboard was three hundred nine dollars. Now, there was an optional um, thing that you can put in place because there are cheaper options for the fans. So the fans that I had um, came to one hundred and fifty nine dollars. So it's pretty steep for RGB fans just to make it have some color. But the total cost of it without the fans was uh, just under $1,200. So you can get this whole entire computer, which is a really good computer. I've been using it for quite some time, but we'll get back into the build in a little bit. Um, I've been using it for a little bit, and it's really good, really fast. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the build. So, yeah, perfect. All right, so... Let's just jump right into it. All right, well, let's go ahead and build this computer. Let's put all this stuff to the side, yeah, what so we're not going to use from the start. All right, so right now we got the case here. Um, Sorry, I love you. I love you, nerds. I'm a nerd, too, so it's all good. Um, that's, a, that's a hefty boy. Yeah. Thick. Here it is. There it is. The H5. Cool. Jesus Christ. The H510i. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Beautiful. You can see the, the lights and all the, the computer stuff in the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and take this screen off so you can see what's actually inside right now. So if you're new to the channel, um, to the, new to my channel, and uh, this is your first PC build or you're interested in building a PC, obviously this house is all your internal parts, your hard drive, your RAM, memory, your power supply, uh, pretty much everything to make your computer run. So... This is, this is the house that houses everything. Yes. Ooh, don't want to drop that. Not good. All right, so we'll put that to the side here. All right, so like I said, here I kind of pre-installed some of the fans here. So I'm actually going to take out my phone so I can record this so you can see exactly what we're seeing inside here. So yeah, uh, right here I had a couple of fans pre-installed. I had this fan, this fan. Um, I did install... Um, two more fans right there. So um, that's always a good thing to have those fans pre-installed, but then again, don't know what I'm doing with the RGB stuff. So let's set that yeah, aside. We blow it up, we blow it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and I guess start with the, start with the motherboard. motherboard here. Let's keep this recording. So like I said guys, the, all the descriptions to these items will be in the description box below. Pretty much this is the motherboard. Um, think of this as another thing that houses most of your um, internal parts. So like this would be like the base that goes into the case. Um, and then- You mean to rhyme there? Yeah, I mean to rhyme, <laughs> Dr. Seuss. But, so this is what you would install most of your items on. So have it be your SSD hard drive, have it be your RAM. Um, this is what holds your processor, which Matt said is, is like the, the heart of your computer. So that would go right here. I don't know if you can see it. Processor would go right there. Um, well then, since we have the processor or the um, motherboard out, let's bring out the processor so we can install that with the thermal paste and whatnot. Then you got your, you know, your RAM slots for your memory right here with my fingers. Um, your RAM sticks go right there. And as you can see, this motherboard also has your typical USB ports. It has your um, analog ports and an S-video port. So basically anything you would find on a pre-built computer this motherboard has, this case has. So, right. also has an Ethernet port um, in case you didn't make your computer wireless. You don't have a wireless adapter. You can plug this guy into an Ethernet port if you have one at the house. 
All right, so now we have the processor. This is, I guess, what we're going to start with and putting that in the motherboard. I can yep. put so that aside. So this is the heart of the, the motherboard. This is our brain, whatever you want to consider it. They said they make it like really small, so you can't even tell where, the, oh, there's the dot. Is that, that's the dot, yeah. Well, the dot's there. Yeah. So we'll put that there. Yeah, just get carried by the sides there. Yep, don't touch, uh, whatever you don't touch. The bottom there? All of that, yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Carry it by the sides and then put the, do we have the right corner on there? So wherever that dot is, make sure that dot is here. Like so. Okay. I think this is not the clearest camera, I don't know why. All right, so then we can put that down. That shouldn't come up. Screw in. Or do so, I have a yeah, so it just. Um, I thought there was supposed to be like something that there is this latches on. There is this clip here that can go like this. But this. Oh, so it just. There's a, well, there's a clip here, as you can see. This, I guess, is supposed to go in here. Okay, so this is. If you have a lock on your side. So, we got the processor on after some. Uh, well, we got the cooler fan on I believe that's what it is so we're gonna do some editing don't you worry yeah you ain't gonna criticize for that yeah. criticize us for that yeah you're gonna criticize <laughs> us for the cable management I'll tell us that I, I know that's gonna be a thing so now let's um I guess what is that stuff but this is the main connector yep um all right so let's clear up some things I don't want to have right. put the trash away there's two things that we probably will need to install before we put it into the case. And that's this and this. So we have the SSD we're gonna to need to install, right? Mm -hmm. And then the RAM. And then the RAM. The RAM is probably the easiest, right? Yeah. All right, let me take this out of here. All right, so like I said, RAM is good. Um, I'm gonna put on deodorant it all, It's all about... <laughs> It's all about the, uh, you know, how fast your computer uh, moves. Mm -hmm. We don't like really know what RAM is. It just kind of makes things go quicky, quick snap, yeah. quicky snap, quicky snap, quicky snap. It sounds like so, a, then, it sounds like a cookie or something, like some so, sort of cracker that um, you have there. So Matt has the uh, DDR4 two by sixteen gig, thirty two gig, three thousand megahertz RAM. Um, which should be just plenty, so. And it's for the i7, and cool, you got an i7 processor. Yes. So it should be fine. With the processor along with the RAM, you should have no problem with editing videos. Or All right, well, let's like install that. Let's install the RAM here. So I just cut myself. Oh, Jesus. Everything's going like kind of south here. But as long as this works, we're fine. That's all I care about. Let me call 911 for you. I think so. Look, I'm really bleeding. Damn. Let's, Let's go. We already have those opened up, so I yep. believe you just so push down. Slide in. Clip these guys in. And you just push right. and they clip in. Leave, leave and space and between. There's space between them. I'll do the same one here. There right. we go. RAM's installed. All right, perfect. Easy peasy. That's the easiest. Um, I'm really bleeding. All right, so if you can uh, install the SSD, uh, I believe that goes SSD. Ow. Which um, anyone knows, like typically, when you build a computer or you get a pre-built computer, normally it it you it has. A normal hard drive, which is like a big old, big old square. Uh, Matt here got a SSD, so he'll have faster read and write speeds. So he only got 500 gig, but it's all about that SSD. Right here, right? Yes. I am seriously bleeding. So I'll let, he's gonna I'll he's let, gonna he's gonna break. Yeah, I'll let you and in, install that over here, band aid. This is this is deep. Right. Install the SSD right here. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, the camera's kind of far away. Far away, but it's going to go in between these two spots right here. See this little guy right here? We're going to line up the connections right here. Just going to slide that puppy in. Oh boy. <laughs> Plugged in. Yeah, it seems good. And if you need to, from what I understand, if you need to install a second one, um, there's like room up there. Correct. Correct. Yep. Right over there. Okay. I'll let this keep recording. All right. Um, I need a band aid. All right. Um, yeah. We're gonna need to take off the the back panel. Yep. If you wanna uh, unscrew that while you go uh, get a band aid. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to take a lot of editing. Yep. Alright, I'm going to unscrew the back here. Bam, bam. Get this guy off here. Excuse me while my friend bleeds to death. All right, so, boom, we pop this guy off. Take off that. The bloody keys out the way. Um, so yeah, so this is what the back looks like with the cover off. As you can see. All its glory. Now, we're going to take this motherboard and line it up here. I'm going to line this, see where these ports are. Right here, we're going to line them up with this case right here where my hand is, just so that they can fit. All right, so I'm back with the band aid. All right, so Let's see what we got in here. This should, I was just telling them, um, you want to find your empty spot. So this right here. Um, so what's going to happen is oh, you can't see anything here. this is going to go here and your yeah so find your open slot where the ports match um obviously going to find out once you rotate it so many times there's only one way it can go yeah we have our plate here we have to put the so plate we'll have to put the plate on but yeah so just find where the perfect spot is um like i said you're going to find out real quick if things don't match up so yeah and do we have uh, screws that go in? Yeah. Um, here's the plate for the motherboard, so we might want to attach that before we. Does that go on the outside or inside? Motherboard, real quick. So, like I said, guys, if you're interested in any of these products, they'll be listed in the description below. If you want to buy uh, whatever you want to buy, you can you can do that. Um, I think if you want to stick with this build, definitely hit hit up those links. Good. Yeah, and then remember that's gonna be screwed in, so probably gets thrown it off. Just to make sure it's screwing in the right way. All right. So then, what's next? I mean, we still have the graphics card out. Graphics card, and then you have one, two, three more screws to screw. Yeah, I think it's more, more or less. Um, the cable management that we might have problem with. Yeah, because he should have been, I think. 
Were they, were they pulled through? I think they were pulled through, yeah. Okay, we'll check. If not, we can always get this out before we put in the lamp. Well, yeah, uh, no, well, we could try to finagle them through. You know? Yeah, I think the I think what would be good is having these, yeah, so they came behind the board and putting them either under or over here or wherever is a good a good option. So let me put in the last screw right. and then we can figure that out. As long as the, the cords are not coming back through here, then we're fine. Uh, I wish that this was magnetic here. I was about to say, you gotta get some of those magnetic screwdrivers. Oh, that, that worked. All right. All right. So we have all of them in, I think. Oh, one more. Sorry. One more screw. I always want to make sure it's secure. And you'll guys, you'll you'll know guys when you get your um, motherboard and the screws that come with the case. You'll know which ones screw in and which ones don't. Yeah. Pretty self-explanatory. All right. So now we're gonna pick this up here and just show everybody what it what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. The so board is because it is screwed in. Yeah. As you can see. Bam. Yep. We have the, the RAM up there, we have the, the cooler, we have all the fans. Um, so this is looking good so far. Now the only thing I'm worried about is all of this stuff here. Cable management. Which we got a backlight here so we can see exactly what's going on. But maybe. I can open up this window here. Shine some light through. That might look horrible, but no. Like I said, we have a whole bunch of zip ties and and that looks way better. Oh yeah. Jeez, look at that. Look at that. And look at this band aid. All right. A whole bunch of power, um, whole bunch of zip ties. This is just a basic video. We're not trying to be all neat. Um, do you want to put in the power supply? Sure. Right? Yeah. So power supply. Yeah. So you need a power supply to keep your computer cool. It's going to pump out some power. So yes, this is what what is needed. Six hundred watts. Six hundred watts should be good. All right, so let's open that. Let's open that bad boy up. Like I said, if you don't have one of these, your computer will explode, or it won't even turn on. Yeah. One <laughs> two. Oh, so this looks a lot better without flash now. Why didn't they do this? Yeah, need, a, need a decent power supply here, folks. The thing that I don't like about that is the um, the cables on it. So let's let's push this to the side so we can show what the cables look like. So the cables. cables have these like red and I don't even know if you can see it actually here. Um, the red and um, yellow like mustard and ketchup type of thing. And a lot of people said something about this. It's like, hey, you know, don't get the the uh, mustard and ketchup type stuff. And and you got the ketchup mustard type yeah, stuff. Yeah, I got I got it anyways. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, and then as you can see here is the, your power switch. I don't know if you can see um, on the power supply, turn the computer mm -hmm. on and off, or the power supply rather, on and off. Um, your case should have a actual power button, which I did see. Yes, yeah, I think it's on top. Right, right here, here, on top, we can't see it, but it's on top here, Jack okay. So I think we can slide this through the side. Did this come with, it came with screws? It came with screws and it came with your um, plug as well, because you need this to plug into a wall. All right, so let's, let's make some noise here. So let's just uh, go ahead and slide this in. So we should probably, should we undo these cables or keep them? Um. The fan goes down. So yeah, so it's going to pretty much be like... When the fan goes up. Oh wait, there we go, yeah. I think the fan goes down. Yeah, the fan, fan goes down, fan so... Goes down, so. This guy. Put screws here, 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 and here, and this is your power button, power supply, and then this is where the plug goes. Okay. All right. So that power 
power supply on, is in. On, on, off. All right. Perfect. Well, we need to put in the graphics card, graphics card yep. first. So, not going to make the same mistake I did with my <laughs> finger here. I'm just going to try and peel it off. And it may take a little more time, but I won't bleed. So, unless you have a knife of some sort. I have a screwdriver. No <laughs> knife here. <laughs> Got your keys over there. Yeah. No <laughs> I did it in the first place. Yeah. You want me to put it down? Put um, fold it down? Or? Uh, no, we can just click the okay. part in there. But we just have to figure out which one we're, we're taking out. Because we have to take out some of these panels. Yeah. So let's keep that to the side over here. And if uh, people you don't know, um, like for the graphics card, he was just saying drivers, um, you're going to need to install them for it to work. It's not just going to work. Yeah. Um, same thing with your Wi Fi adapter. Some come with the disc. We're going to find out if ours did. Oh man, that looks so beautiful. Why does that look so beautiful? Oh. So beautiful. It looks so beautiful. That did. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's horrible. How am I supposed to? I'm supposed to rip it off. It's supposed to be like satisfying here. That was the least bit satisfying. That was sort of satisfying. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait, we have one on the bottom. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, that is it. So we're going to let's probably put this one uh, into the first yeah. setting. So yeah, the first one. The first here. one. Take off the first bracket. This one right here. Uh, sure. yeah, it should be the the first two. First two brackets behind your case to put the graphics card in. I believe where my fingers are at. I don't know if you guys can see, but if it's screwed in there. You have to open it up a little bit for it to properly. Inside, right? Yeah. And then this clicks in. Yep, there, there you go. go. There you go. Perfect. Got it. Ow. Got a plastic piece. I see. Do, do we need to screw this? And get that plate screw. Two plate screws here. Uh, this. Um. Yeah, you can put that on there. But I was gonna say for this right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the we got the graphics card in finally. It took some time, but we got it in. Um, you see all the fans. Hopefully that goes well with all the RGB. I need to hook all that up. Um, the all right. So all the pieces are in, right? Yep. Now it's the hard part. Even though that took a while. Now we have to get to the wiring, which is dare criticize us. Yeah. So cable management. I don't. I don't know how that's going to go in the back. Don't worry about it. But um, hopefully the cable management inside looks pretty good. I mean, once you have that, that uh, case on, it doesn't matter. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> people don't like when people say that. But, you know, whatever. Right. Do what we have to do. Take this off. I'll take this off. That's off. All right. So, so these two are fans. These are RGB fans. Let's. Let's make sure we have what everything is and what we're hooking up. So let's let's start by hooking back up the the cooler fan for the processor. I don't know what to call it. Go with that. Okay. Uh, do, should we face it this way so we can pick it up? Oh uh, yeah. So they can see it. So the people can see it. It looks like a good computer, right? That's that not, is it. I mean, that's not that bad. It's a good. It's a good one. Yeah. You did good. Well. Uh, let me let me put this one back on so it does look decent. Stay. Sorry, not the yeah. So what you guys are gonna see, I, you can't really see me, but your power supply has a different cable, uh, a couple different cables to where your your case is on the back. So 
Some of them are labeled, so one, it says you know, must connect the power, must connect power to power supply unit, to PSU. And then one says must connect to motherboard. So luckily with this case, some of the cables are labeled. So that is a good thing. That's always a good yeah. thing. I know we had the original fans here. We might need to take out this hub and put a different hub there because um, we have new fans, but you do have the LED. So I guess we're not taking that out. Never mind. Never mind what I just said. I don't know anything. I'm just a guy on YouTube. So, all right. So for like this one, it says must connect to PSU. So just kind of find what it would match up with for like this one. And then some of these guys connect also to your motherboard as well. Okay. So you have all these wires here. You want to spread them out. Spread them out. We don't get overwhelmed here. So we have the eight. Eight, what is this, 16 pig? 16 pin, 24 pin. pin? Yep, so that snaps into your motherboard. So that would go, would, yeah. let's see where, see where it would snap over on the other side. So. You want to put it either here or so under here, wherever it's located so the best. Um, let's see. Oh, shoot. So we'll run it. Through there. Yeah. That's a good idea. All right, that's good. Let's turn this around a little bit. Okay. So I think we're gonna need to like angle it and keep it angled. So you're not gonna be able to see what he's doing in the back, um, but you'll be able to see exactly what's going on in the front and where he's connecting it. So you have that 24 pin connector that should be is that here. And then this goes up top to where we at right here. Right here with the, um, some of these things are pretty obvious. So like if something has 24 pins or 16 pins, just count how many pins it has and just look on your motherboard like, oh, obviously this isn't gonna fit over here where there's four pins because there's more than four pins here. So this matches up with the uh, big old pinned I think it's 24 up here. Pins. Yeah, it's like 24 pins here. So just find it and connect it in. Do we have another? Like 10 pins from there. We have a six. It should be a, a, a an eight and a two. We do have two eights. Uh, two sixes. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what they're labeled. So this is. You yeah, always follow your labels, guys. CPU power two. That's what that is. Um. Oh, we did we we still didn't hook this back up. What is the, the the fan? Oh yeah. The original fan. CPU fan. Okay. So hook the CPU fan back up. That looks good. Cable management so far looks pretty good. So far, keyword being so far. So far. Do um, you need like a six pin? We still need to hook up the. Um, oh, you know what? That is good. The eight pin should go through the bottom. Okay. Because it's going to connect to the. Um, what is that called? The graphics card. Could you get it? You, you missed. You missed. Oh, it's right there. Uh, right there. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, actually. That's a good spot. I didn't yeah. even know that was a spot. So we'll put that right here. There you go. I connected the um, the eight pin connector to the graphics card. Um, now we just have to worry about some of the other. Um, sections as well. The good stuff. The good stuff. Mainly just USBs. The USBs, are they like thin or are they? I think those might come from these, the, the actual case. Gotcha. So, and then we have a motherboard. So basically, fine. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but uh, like I said, it's all about matching your pins up. Um, so if you have nine pins on your motherboard and you have a nine pin cable. Oh, this is audio. Simple math. Could I, do you have one that is labeled USB? Yeah, uh, another nine pin that's... You yeah, I have another. another nine pin over here. And is that labeled USB or... All right, so I think it's looking pretty good so far. Um, cable management wise, looking okay. 
not really amazing. I do have this second area over here that's like when it's connected to the graphics card, um, it has like extra pins. So you see that and I have to tuck it down. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't know what the CPU power is, but it's a, I would imagine that's important. All right, guys. So I haven't talked to you in a while. So now we're just hooking up all of the fans um, and um, and the the RGB for those fans. So we're hoping to get all of this situated here in the next few minutes. We have a couple of fans that we need to. Those are JRGB. There's fan two. Fan. I don't even know if you need to care about what fan you plug it into. Does um, that matter? I feel like it doesn't. So we don't need this. I have another USB cable looking for. You have another USB cable? Well, yeah, so this guy probably goes. Yeah, I was gonna say it's getting, getting a little cluttered, but you know, husk. that's how we do it. That's how we do it here. We're doing a good job here, a really good job. So the flash drive is ready too. So, all right. So was it? Did you have three more? Um, oh yeah, we had. I don't think we need to hook up all of them. I don't. I don't think we have that. It's just a max amount that we can. Did you need? Well, you guys can't see it, but it's a mess. It's, but it is a mess. <laughs> You would be really upset. Whoever is into like really building computers would be extremely upset with the fact that this is a mess. You better get your brooms, because it's a if mess. You want to, but you won't see anything. I'm not gonna pass it through if you don't. I I don't. If you want to take a look, you can. I don't. We we just installed. Um, all of the fans, the RGB lighting, we had to read the manual a little bit. Um, and now we're kind of officially testing it. So we're crossing our fingers here. And if you guys sure it's on. want to see the finished RGB product. Yes. Look at this. In all its glory. Awesome. Now now we need to we need to check a couple of other things, but let's let's rotate it a little bit more so people can see. You know all that stuff. Look at that. Look at that. I really want to thank this guy right here. <laughs> we still have to figure out if all the drivers and we need to install the operating system and all of that stuff. So we're not, and we still, we haven't shown you the back of it. And we're not so, going to show you the back yeah, of it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to show you the back of it. So the back of it is pretty bad. We need to cable manage, and I'll, I'll do that, but I think we need to... Um, Go ahead and install the. Yeah. So what I would what I would do um, from here is we'll check everything works. We're not going to zip tie anything, just in case maybe we plug something in wrong and things yeah. aren't working. So. Do you want me to? I can get one of my monitors, get the keyboard, the mouse, yep. and everything, and we we'll can up. Yep. figure do all that stuff want... out. Okay. All right. Let's let's all right. not push it all the way to the back so people could see the wire and cable management and stuff. You just slid the table. It's top secret. Yeah. Top secret. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about it. All right, so that's the that's the finished product there. Let's let's shut this off real quick. You see in those. All right, shut that off real quick. Let me get one of them. Up. We're going to need is the wireless card to get on the Wi-Fi because we are not hardwiring this computer. We are going wireless. Now the RGB guys, um, the ones that we installed. I mean, Matt bought them. You necessarily don't need them. Um, like I said, we looked at the manual. We don't have that on, on video, so just follow the manual. Um, plug in point A to point A or point A to point B, whatever it says. Oh yeah, got the disc. So this is the wireless card right here. You got your antennas, okay? And then you're gonna need this disc. Most of them come with the disc to install the drivers. Um, so once you boot up your computer, 
and put, once you put your card in and boot up your computer, it's not going to connect automatically to wireless. You need the drivers for it. It's the disc right here. And you've got your mounting bracket, got your card itself, and like I said, the antenna. So find on your tower, find um, where the two like where the two um, connectors are, and you're just going to match it up on your motherboard. So just walk around on your motherboard and see, okay, where are the two connectors? I know you guys can't see it, but I found the two connectors. I'm going to take this plate off uh, where Matt just pointed, uh, this other plate right here, down here, and it's going to just poke through where, this, where these cages are. So, you know which two. So, but eventually everything will be cleaned up. My watch is, my watch is telling me to breathe. I guess uh, I forgot to breathe. Let's see about the mounting bracket. may not need it. find those two connectors guys so now that we put the wireless card in whew, i'm going to put the one of the most of the casing back on and then i'm going to put the antennas on which they're just you know basic antennas they just screw right into your wireless card so on the back i mean you'll see you'll see the holes i think we should probably screw uh the other one of, is this one of the screws right here yeah and it's up to you guys you can keep these off um, I think it looks better with them on, mm -hmm. aesthetically speaking, of course. All right. And that's that's the back of the that's sort of the back of the computer, technically the side because you want to have this on display. Mm. But yes, we're saying that even though the back looks like like crap. <laughs> slide this one through. I think we're missing this. His uh, Matt's case doesn't have a DVD drive, so what we're probably going to do is export files from this disc to a flash drive or just grab them well, I was gonna say grab from the internet but we're gonna have to get a ethernet port so um, yeah so that's pretty much it um, we did get an extra bracket for the wireless card he didn't need it because his one was already on a bracket okay, so let's go ahead and hook up the computer here see if it comes up get the USB mm -hmm. drive A little more like a little more like a bag of chips and less like satisfying uh, right, so, tape. <laughs> I mean that was only 20 minutes, so we could do it again, we do it again. So if I'll flip this on. Did you have to put the USB in there and press like F twelve or something a bunch of times? Yeah, but it should have At least. There we go. All right. Put this on. See, this is to show right here that even though you have RGB power, like things can still be messed up. So, if we cable manage things. Yeah, we'd be screwed, yeah. yeah. Well, this isn't even plugged in, I don't know why I'm trying to... How many USB slots do we have? Would would one be, like, for all USBs in the back? Or is that, like, like the front panel? Well, we have this one, which I'm sure this one's working, the top one, so one, and then we have... Well, the problem is, it didn't, it didn't look like it worked, it didn't register. Yeah, it looks like this is... This is connected right to this area. So that's the front, that's what the front panel is, the power button, all of that stuff. But for some reason, it's it has to be working because the power button's working. Right. That turns it on. Yeah, so the power button's working, that has to work. Um, let's plug. So that, that front panel is working. The issue is the Thank keyboard's you. not even lighting up. And the keyboard yeah. is plugged into this guy. This oh, that's the keyboard? Um, no, sorry. Was the mouse, say, but that's not even lighting up. I was going to say, this has to be working. Because, but the problem is, I think it's the USB ports. Because just because the front panel works, I think the front panel works with the power button and um, all the other stuff, like the, the main stuff. But then the USB ports 
and the HDMI port is not working. So uh, this is just a, an updated video. I was here maybe about a week ago, or maybe less than a week ago, just helping him build this computer. Now I'm, I'm very um, IT like savvy and very like just in love with technology. This was also my first build, so we did run into a bit of an issue at some point. Yes. So everything was good. You know, we, we were able to install a lot of it, but towards the end, we couldn't get the thing to boot. Many troubleshooting steps, and we pretty much not really gave up, but I left for the day. Um, Matt gave me a call. We kind of walked through some things. Mm -hmm. And I wish I was here to, like, help him yeah. just in person because it was it was it would have went a lot smoother it would a lot smoother eventually we got it after talking through it um all it was basically was one cable yeah to make the thing to make the thing function so <laughs> one cable that we were you know contemplating whether we should put it in or we shouldn't put it in that that spot and we ended up doing it and uh seemed to function pretty well and obviously i'm using it yeah so um, we're going to take you through and just show you exactly what um, the build looks like and what wasn't working and then um, you know we can go from there. All right, so this is what the build looks like. So I have the glass off. Um, it's obviously beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Uh, Very for beautiful. A first, for a first build, definitely is. You have all these RGB fans lighting up pretty nicely. You have the RGB lighting in the back. One thing that was kind of a red flag um, that, I, that I noticed um, after you left mm -hmm. was the the internal RGB so it just has one internal RGB light mm -hmm. it wasn't lit up so and this up top right here this light right yeah. there it wasn't lit up so I was like what what's going on here and then we had those conversations just to really walk through this and yeah I mean it was just I don't know if you could see it um, there's a cord up there that's connected it was that cord which is oh, labeled yeah. Uh, CPU power two, which makes sense. Yes, <laughs> yes. I well, I looked on the manual, and then you know it, it said CPU power one and two, which means that you know obviously it has the option of being CPU power one and Listen, CPU power two. We're men; we don't read manuals. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you don't read manuals, that's not a thing. Uh, it's there we go. So yeah, this is a this is a computer build. Um, this is a complete setup, actually, without my laptop. It's actually a pretty sexy machine, if I have to say so myself. Yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good setup there. So yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty um, simple after we ended up getting that plugged in. Um, let's go back to um, us instead of looking at this beautiful computer. There were just a couple of things, I guess, that we um, didn't do, which was um, install Windows, which you couldn't really see us do that. There are a lot of videos out there installing Windows. Maybe you can create a video on that. Definitely. Um, just when, you know, maybe when you build uh, your computer or something like that. We also didn't show you how to update the drivers, uh, things like that. Yeah, um, there's many videos that we would have liked to show you guys. Um, but like I said, once we pretty much were done for the day and... We just couldn't really show you anything because we were on the phone while we we're walking each other through what to do. So yeah, and it was more or less like you know back and forth, and it was a long period of time in order to kind of figure out something that seems so simple. Now um, there is still an issue with with this that I've seen online, um, and I don't know um, the answer to it. So maybe we can uh, establish the answer later down the line. But the RAM sticks and. Uh, I, I, I seen that um, you have to have them in certain slots in certain motherboards. Other motherboards, you can fill them all up from what I understand. And uh, this one, you have to have it in slot uh, B1 and B2 instead of A1 and A2. And the lights still light up red, but it seems to work. So um, I'm not questioning it, but if I wanted more RAM, then I would probably have a problem. Yeah, I mean, if anyone has an idea as to why his um, basically his RAM slots are lit up red. I, I'm assuming that's not normal. Uh, either they, I feel like they should either be green or no no lights at all. I mean his computer is running fine, so which is a plus. Everything is 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 golden. But I don't want to see a problem like happen in the future yeah. to where you know your RAM your RAM slots completely stop working. Yeah. So if anyone has an idea as to why his two ports are lit up red, just drop a comment down below and. You know, we'll work, we'll work through it. 
Yeah, and um, also there are other options to different motherboards. So if you wanted to get something that's an upgrade, um, there's a lot of upgrades out there. I was gonna go with another MSI uh, motherboard um, that had Wi-Fi built in, but it was just, it was gonna take too long to ship to me and I'm impatient. So I, I don't like to admit that I'm impatient, but I'm very impatient. So um, I went with this motherboard. It was a little um, expensive for what you get. Um, and then also, if you're going to do this build, I noticed this too, um, the uh, USB type C, mm -hmm. it, they don't have a port for it on the oh, motherboard. No. So I don't have a USB type C on this. So if you wanna Ooh. go with a better option, I would say upgrade the motherboard to something a little bit better so you can use that USB type C on um, this case. So what well, you could try to, I mean, it's just another peripheral that you would have to buy if you didn't want to get another motherboard. You could actually get USB like a hub mm -hmm. and maybe that hub has a type C port on it. Okay. Just, a, just an idea. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to keep it simple and, and clean and want the type C on your desktop or if you just want to buy a $20 hub or $10 yeah. hub, whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely an option. Um, there's that. You could buy a $20 hub or actually the um, other motherboard, I think, would be somewhere around like $40 more. So so if you spend $40 well, yeah. more, you can have it on your actual PC. But that's pretty much the build. I mean, it's a successful build. I've used it to, um, to edit one video so far and render one video. It's really fast. So I'm really happy with it. And I would go through keyboard and mouses. And I would go through my keyboard and my mouse, but obviously everybody has their different types of keyboards that they like, their different keys that they like. Um, the mouse that I got is absolutely amazing. But um, we're strictly talking about this PC build here. So if you want to build this, it's only $1,200 and then maybe a little upgrade if you want that USB Type-C. So, yeah. uh, Just another thing too, um, I know we didn't talk about this, but Matt's desktop does not have a built-in DVD player. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people still would like that. I mean, I, you can run out and get an external DVD drive, um, but maybe you would like to see if you can get a case or some like a DVD drive to install into your um, case. So just something to think about if you like watching movies, if you like doing certain things with DVDs, blank DVDs. I'm not going to go into detail what that is, but <laughs> so just just keep that in mind that this one did not have a DVD drive. So if you want to buy one, external one, or if you want to look for one to install. So well, yeah, I thought that was actually going to be an issue because with the uh, Wi-Fi card, it basically said, "Hey, you need to like put this DVD drive in there." But I just searched it online, um, and it ended up sending me to a place to where I can install the driver that I needed. Um, and now the Wi-Fi works perfect. perfect. So awesome. you can always find everything online, usually, but yeah. if you want to play DVDs and stuff like that. For the kids or yeah. whatever. So Yeah, there's different types of cases out there. So, yeah, I mean, that's the uh, build. So, uh, yeah, so that pretty much what Matt said, that was the build. Um, video should be... I don't know if it'll be going to great detail. I mean, like I said, it was our first. I know it was my first actual build. It was definitely his first build. Mm -hmm. So there was some things along the way that maybe just not too much into detail, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed it along for the ride of our first PC build. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's definitely great to be able to see um, people, or I guess me, I'm talking about myself, that's not as experienced. And uh, even though I'm not talking through the whole thing, um, it, you, you see actual reactions and how we think on the fly, I guess. So it's definitely interesting. Someone but. almost bled to death when they. Yeah, I guess I did. But it's all good. We, we got through it. Um, yeah. Took us all day, but it's up and running. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it really shouldn't have took us all day. But again, like I said, we were both new to this. I, I knew my way around somewhat. I knew what pieces, you know, bigger pieces, where they go into. But when it came to towards the end, I was just baffled. So, but. Right. It's working. So. Well, um, make sure you hit the like button on this guy's video. Subscribe. Um, subscribe, subscribe to his channel. Yep. Um, he has really great content. Um, I can't wait to see all of the other stuff that he comes up with. So, you know, subscribe. Um, subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah. Or maybe one of the cards. He does a lot of personal finance stuff, credit card reviews, a lot of 
things related related to uh, stimulus checks, mm -hmm. um, updates to to keep you guys updated. Yep. To hopefully, if we get a second stimulus check, yeah, we shall see. Yeah. But follow the channel for all all those updates. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I guess both of our first PC build, and you'll be able to see this PC every day on my channel if you wanted to go over there and check that out. But um, like I said, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and um, I guess we're out of here. We're out of here. See you on the next video. Yeah.